There's always a bloody second or two that you're never really bloody sure. Fuck out, piss off, you bastard! Is that working? Yeah, that's working. Sorry. Sorry for the uh, introduction, but I'm sure you lot know me by now. So, lads, listen. Christmas time, it's time to do your projects, right? Unfortunately, and weirdly enough, seems to be a thing that's almost dead in the motorcycle world now. Because most people just, oh, here's the money, I just want to buy that fashionable bike. Oh, God, I'm a fucking bitch. But I am, actually, yeah. I'm not an elitist, but I believe you should put the fucking work in. Anyway, you know, I'm going to go and buy Ollie Davidson there, with a leather jacket. Oh, how many people did I just piss off there? Anyway, look. So, I'm carrying on with the desert bike project. I've got all my scallops made. You've seen this over the last couple of videos anyway. So now I'm starting to shape everything. Lads, I really do not know what I'm doing, right? I mean, I really don't. I've watched a lot of videos. And um, I think that I'm making these so that when I'm, I am going to send it to someone. But I don't know who. Um, classic car shaping companies. Metal fabricators, I really don't know. Should I be brazing this? Should I be migging it? Should I be tigging it? I don't know. This really is for me, so it's um, it's a it's a real new ground that I really just not too sure on. And um, unlike most macho attitudes, if you don't know, ask. So I'm just kind of put some feelers out there for anyone who watches this uh, video, apart from the normal mob, you know. Is it going to shoot rockets? No, this is not a firearm video. It's not an explosive video. It's not a knife video. It's not a gun video. This is what, this is my stuff when I'm not working, right? <coughs> so, remember the whole thing is to because before this tank stuck out and it bumps into my new fault legs and also I'm moving the centre of gravity on the bike so I want to be closer to the handlebars because we ride different today how we did in the early 80s back in the early 80s none of us really knew what we were doing and the sand we were just fucking hanging on to the thing the amount of Australians I've met um, like you know Australian safari and that sort of thing who they have their tyres at 90 PSI, and when we said, like, you know, in the UK, we ride at 10, 15 PSI, they were absolutely gobsmacked. But we were equally gobsmacked when they said to us that they ride at 90 PSI. Amazing, isn't it, the difference? But I suppose horses for courses, because we, what chance do we get to ride on the sand in the UK? It's all mud, apart from, I suppose, Western Supermare. Um... It's wet sand though. Is there a difference between wet sand and riding in the desert that's dry sand or talc? Anyway, I digress, right? So what I'm doing is uh, I'm glowing all this cherry red and I'm going round and I'm peening the edge of my metal sheet down on my tank, right? Then I'm going to come back and clean it all up. Now, I don't think I'm going to be out of braise with this little thing. So even though it's a mat gas gun, I just can't get the amount of area heat effect that I want. I probably could if I had two of these, but I still don't know if I should braise this. Would brazing be strong enough for a petrol tank? I know brazing's pretty tough stuff, but brazing's also brittle, right? So should I tig it? Well, no, because I don't have a tig. But then again, saying that, I don't have a MIG either, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm going round, I'm cherry redding, this outside one, and then I'm just tapping the edge of this over until it meets my tank. Is that correct? I don't know. <laughs> I've got a clue. But, um, I have watched a lot of YouTube vids on the subject, although most of them have been classic car bodywork. Uh, so, namely, maybe I'm doing this video because then um, I can send this to someone who runs a classic car restoration fabrication business. 
and they can say, yeah, I would do that, 150 quid. Um, I don't know. Um, obviously, I'm in the trade and I want to put fucking 150 pounds. I don't want to pay anything if I can help it. Maybe I can meet someone who does fabrication. There's an old classic bike and wants all their suspension rebuilt. Hey, tradies. Um, I like tradies. Tradies is how it used to be back in the day. Um, but tradies seems to be something that's gone. Which is a pity. Tradies used to be the way we used to do business with everybody. So... I've got someone who wants this and I want a petrol tank painting, so we do tradies. But that's gone, isn't it? Nobody does that anymore. Anyway, I'm going to leave this now. I don't want to make this any worse. I'm not taking that panel off because it's pretty bad under there. I don't want you to see it under there. Well, you've seen it all anyway in the previous videos. It doesn't really matter. But I'm thinking of just, if it was me, I'd TIG away, um, not TIG, I would MIG on the outside. Now, one of my old friends, Cookie, fuck me man, he's, he used to be so good with a MIG, but um, not so much now. I don't know if he's even picked up a MIG for ages. If you're watching this, Nidge, uh, you know, <laughs> remember the last tank you done for me, that was so well welded I didn't even have to plastic seam it. Uh, this will be getting a plastic liner inside. This will get a rough plod in. A, a, a rough painted coat because remember this tank's going to be aluminium clad all this area here is going to be checker plate so uh, when you come off don't puncture the tank if I'm hitting the sharp rock um, the amount of overland knowledge that has disappeared thanks to BMW and their ooh instant fucking off-road image oh, don't even get me started man don't even get me started. Well, then we've met stranded. Oh, I've got a puncture in the middle of Derbyshire in the field. I've got to ring the AI. Oh, I've got a bit of a shock for you, mate. <laughs> Brackens, we used to do puncture repair lessons. <laughs> I want to drive around the world tomorrow. I'm a bit of a bitch, you know. Yeah, I suppose so. Still. Better that than getting raped by some big fat African and having your bike sold. Oh yeah, naivety. When you pass through that boulder, you know that boulder guard's ringing his mates. Hey, lone whitey coming. <laughs> He's on a 10 grand bike. Yeah, you are a target. Anyway. <laughs> Christmas is coming. <laughs> so, um... I'm actually packing up there. I'm going to go and uh, do some online shit, see if I can find someone who does some classic car bodywork. Till such time, I'm going to catch you later. What sort of time are we looking at? Ah. Oh. Well, it appears... Oh, eight minutes. Ah! It's Thunderbirds! No, it's Star Trek! <laughs> I'll see you later, lads. Ta-da.